Today, I'd like to give a COVID update for Monday, September 21st. Um, just a little review of the numbers. This week on Monday, we had today 1,488 positive cases. That's up 207 from last week where we had 1,281. The active cases right now are at 143 cases. That's up 19 from last week where we had 124. We have 1,330 recovered cases. That's increased uh, by 183 cases over last week's 100, uh, 1,000 rather, 147. We currently have uh, 11 uh, people in the hospital. That's up two from last week where we had nine people in the hospital. Unfortunately, in the last week, we've seen five new deaths. We had 10 last week and now we're up to 15 deaths. We have had 34,011 um, negative tests total. That's up 200, rather 2,315 cases from last week. In recent weeks, I've received several calls to learn about how the coronavirus uh, pandemic will affect trick-or-treating on Halloween. After consulting with the Sheboygan County Public Health Department, I'd like to let you know that trick-or-treating and Halloween will be held from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock on Saturday, October 20, 31st, and the Sheboygan County Division of Public Health is supportive of safe trick-or-treating with proper best practices to limit the spread of COVID-19. They also feel that uh, we should avoid large outdoor and indoor gatherings such as parties, festivals, and parades, and attending large gatherings and social events. Those items are not recommended. Residents that plan to have uh, treats for the trick-or-treat participants on Halloween are asked to turn their porch light on from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock. The public health trick-or-treat best practices for residents are if you or someone at your home is sick, do not hand out any treats. Wear a face mask that covers both your mouth and nose when greeting the trick-or-treat participants. Homeowners should make the treats available by setting them on a table or a tray outside of handling the treats individually. Avoid in-person contact. The public health trick-or-treat best practices for children and their parents are, again, to stay home if sick. Do not participate in trick-or-treating if you're sick. Only trick-or-treat with people you live with. Practice social distancing and remain six feet apart from other people that are not in your household. Wear a face mask that covers both your mouth and nose when appropriate. This means under and or over your Halloween costume is necessary. Have sanitizer available to use before eating any candy while trick-or-treating. And examine all treats and wash your hands before eating treats at home. Thank you.